British chip designer, Graf Core, recently unveiled the Colossus MK2, also known as the GC200 IPU, Intelligence Processing Unit, which it calls the world's most complex chip for AI applications. The chip offers, eight times the performance of its predecessor, the Colossus MK1, and is powered by 59.4 billion transistors, which surpasses the 54 billion transistors, in NVIDIA's newest top tier, a 100 data center GPU. GraphCore plans to install 4GC200 IPU, into a new machine called the M2000, which is roughly the size of a pizza box, and delivers one petaflop of computing power. On its own, the system is slower than NVIDIA's A100, which can handle 5 petaflops on its own. But GraphCore's M2000, is a plug-and-play system that allows users to link up to 64,000 IPU together, for 16 exaflops, each exaflop equals 1,000 petaflops, of processing power. To put that into perspective, a human would need to perform a single calculation, every second for nearly 31.7 billion years, to match what a one exaflop system can do in a single second. The GC200, and A100, are both clearly very powerful machines, but GraphCore enjoys three distinct advantages against NVIDIA in the growing AI market. Unlike NVIDIA, which expanded its GPUs beyond gaming and professional visualization purposes, into the AI market, GraphCore designs custom IPU, which differ from GPUs or CPUs, for machine learning tasks. On its website, GraphCore claims that, CPUs were designed for office apps, GPUs for graphics, and IPU for machine intelligence. It explains that CPUs are designed for scalar processing, which processes one piece of data at a time, and GPUs are designed for vector processing, which processes a large array of integers and floating point numbers at once. GraphCore's IPU technology uses graph processing, which processes all the data mapped across a single graph at once. It claims the IPU structure processes machine learning tasks more efficiently than CPUs and GPUs. Many machine learning frameworks, including TensorFlow, MXNet, and CAFE, already support graph processing. GraphCore claims, the vector processing model used by GPUs, is far more restrictive than the graph model, which can allow researchers to explore new models, or re-explore areas in AI research. NVIDIA's A100 costs $199,000, which equals $39,800 per petaflop. GraphCore's M2000 system, offers one petaflop of processing power for $32,450. That difference of $7,350, per petaflop could generate millions of dollars in savings, in multi-exaflop systems for data centers. That could spell trouble for NVIDIA's data center business, which grew its revenue 80% annually, to $1.14 billion last quarter, and accounted for 37% of the chipmaker's top line. NVIDIA recently acquired, data center networking equipment maker Mellanox, to strengthen that business, but that increased scale might not deter GraphCore's disruptive efforts. NVIDIA, enjoyed an early mover's advantage in data center GPUs, but it faces a growing list of challenges, including first-party chips from Amazon, Facebook, and Alphabet's Google. GraphCore represents another looming threat, and NVIDIA's investors should be wary of its new chips, which seem to offer a cheaper, more streamlined, and more flexible approach to tackling machine learning and AI tasks. Anyway guys, what do you think about British chip designer, GraphCore and NVIDIA? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon, to get instant video notification. So guys that's it for now, see you in next video.